Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my channel of all things music and spirit. Make yourself at home, grab a cup of coffee, grab a friend, and enjoy. I want to talk about what soaking music is and what we can do with it and where we can go with it. So I've talked about before, you know, how today music is used in many different ways, uh, can be used to manipulate us into spending more money at retail. And, you know, we see in the church that it's, you know, worship and praise music, which is great. But as we see in biblical times um, with King Saul, it was used by the harp of David and his playing to calm him and drive out distressing spirits. I really believe that we can get back to the roots of this with soaking music, but we've only begun to scratch the surface. You see, today with soaking music, it's, you know, basically just being played as mood music it's soft piano or acoustic guitar and there's amazing amazing art out there but there's so much of this landscape that we've yet to explore and you know there's there's so many untapped opportunities here so what exactly you know is is soaking music so the point of it is to bring you to a place where you can be ministered to by god where he can enrich your spirit and recharge your batteries in worship and praise music we receive in this way but it's as a it's as a byproduct by praising and worshiping god when you soak in god's presence you are as a sponge you sit stand lay down or however you're most comfortable and you just soak up all his love his peace and everything he has to offer to you this is the christian equivalent of meditation However, we're not clearing our minds. We're filling them with God's love as told for us to do in Philippians chapter four, verse eight. Now, this is achieved by turning on music without words, not to be distracted by the lyrics. This way we don't focus on what was said. Instead, we focus on what is being said. Then you calm and relax yourself by getting comfortable. You focus your eyes on Jesus. And whether you want to picture heaven or picture what it looks like walking hand in hand with Jesus, that's it's a great start. You can close your eyes or you can leave them open. Just, just be comfortable. You see, soaking is different from prayer. And when you're soaking, you're giving God the room to talk. And soaking can come before or after prayer or before or after reading the word of God. And this can help you to receive word of God and peace from God. Well, this can help you to receive a word from God and peace from God. Now, here's where I wanna expand on the current landscape. Many people, they use classical music and jazz music to study to. It's, it's been scientifically proven to help your process and retention of material, which is great. But I would like to recommend listening to Christian soaking music while studying and allow heaven to minister to you, helping you, you know, along the way of your studying. The music on my first album, it started off as my alone time with God. And when shared with a friend, it was played as study music with, with great success. So this tells me, this shows me that there's so much more that we can do with it. And it doesn't just have to be kept in a box or used for one one thing it can be played while you're praying it can be played while you're reading the bible it can even be played while doing the dishes this is maybe something that i should do for myself maybe the dishes will end up you know cleaner at the end of this um, and i can do it with joy it's to help us is to be utilized as a tool if by the harp of david distressing spirits were taken away from king saul what more can it do for us today now soaking music can be used as a tool just as all music we don't have to put it in a box and we don't have to fall asleep to it now let's use music to get closer to god thanks for tuning in feel free to like comment and share this video and if you're new around here and you like what you see subscribe today and be a part of the family check out my music in the links below Shalom.